right, all right, all right. It's Washaholic Wednesday. I'm Mike Kinderleiter, the Dean of PowerWash at PowerWash University and PowerWash.com. And today I want to share with you some of the tests we've been doing with foggers or misters and the results that we've gotten so you can make a decision about what would work best for you in your business. So, and the reason we're doing this is because we've been selling a lot of MaxQuat recently with the, uh, the pandemic, the coronavirus treatments and things like that have gone on. And everybody's looking for solutions, trying to come up with ways to uh, clean areas and make them safe for uh, patrons or customers or whatever your customers may be requiring of you to come in and to prepare an area so that people can uh, get back to it or, or just prevent the spread of any kind of virus or bacteria or whatnot. We've got a great product that, that works for that. That's uh, MaxQuat. But and any other product, you may, if you're not even, even if you're not buying MaxQuat from us or buying a similar product that works, I want to show you how these misters and foggers work because we had a lot of questions about MaxQuat and if it'll work with a mister, if it'll work with a fogger, electrostatic sprayer. Um, and the question, and the answer to that question is yes, it will work with all those products. So the first one I'm going to show you is the Lafferty 394 blast fogger. It's going to be the first one I demonstrate and um, it works pretty good. And then we also have a lawn. It is a chlorine fogger, um, the per their, their label, and it, it, works, it works well. And then we also have the Lafferty 633 compact fogger. <clears throat> the, uh, uh, so the difference in these foggers, misters, however you want to call them, is these particular two, I think, do good at shooting a distance. So if you're in a warehouse or a big open space and you're trying to reach heights with the product, one of these would be really good. Or if you're in a big open area and you want to spray it, those work really good. They're not going to work good inside a house or office environment or a closed space where you're trying to to uh, apply the product. Whereas this one does a really nice fog at a close distance. So if you're, you're going through offices or homes or things like that, I find this to be a very good product. Now, I have these in the shot because, and I'm not gonna demonstrate the chap and pump up sprayer or the steel. We don't, we don't sell this product, um, steel sprayer, but I think everybody's familiar with how these, these, these work. They're pump up, they spray a really fine mist. Uh, they work great, so you can use those as well. But I just have them in a shot here um, so you can have an idea that you can apply the product with this. It's not just a, a wipe down and wipe off, you actually spray it. And a majority of our customers who are doing exterior type applications aren't using any of these products. They're actually downstreaming the product through their power washer. And we have the, the mix ratios and how that works. Uh, if you want that PDF, just reach out to us, we'll get you a copy of that, but we have it posted everywhere so you can actually get to it. So let me, uh, let me get the, uh, the <clears throat> this going here. And if the air compressor happens to kick on while I'm going, we're just gonna pause and restart again once the air compressor kicks off because I don't want that in the background noise because it's hard to tell what I'm saying. So I'm gonna turn on a light here because we found that trying to shoot the video without some, uh, some kind of backlighting to the mist, it doesn't show up on the camera very well. So. I'm going to go ahead and hook this up to the first mister or fogger and it takes a second to draw through the hose so it'll, it'll give a minute here so let, let me pull the trigger and get this going. There you go. You can see how it sprays. The thing about this particular mist is that it's a bit on the wet side. You can see the small little droplets that keep dropping off as it sprays out. So I would say this is more on the misting side and less on the fogging side, but it, I would still consider this a mist. And those who do a lot of this may have a completely definition for, different definition for fogging, which may be like a steam or something, but we don't have anything like that here to demonstrate. So um, let me switch over to the other product, but that was the, uh, the Lafferty 394 Blast Fogger that we just sprayed there. So I'm going to switch over now to the lawn. Oh, one thing I want to add about the Lafferty 394 Blast Fogger is that this takes 
uh, 11 to 13 CFMs, and maybe one of the reasons why we're not getting the better results with it is because it, it doesn't have that high of CFMs. The CFMs that we're actually operating here are about five CFM. So it actually needs a lot more and it would probably need a bigger hose rather than a three eighths, maybe go to a half inch. So now I'm gonna switch over to the Lawn, L-O-N-N, -N, um, chlorine, chlorine uh, fogger. Now the chlorine fogger has this nice little hook on it that goes right into the handle there. And then you take this cap off to be able to place the hose down inside the container that you have. Now, I would recommend is just to drill a small hole in the top of this. So if you're shaking around or you're dropping it, you're not spilling the content out real easy. So let's give this a spray. And this one actually um, will give some good distance and a nice fog. You see that there? It actually applies a pretty good amount of product at a, at a fast rate. So you can see the mist that's sprayed out of the lawn, chlorine, uh, chlorine fogger. Uh, I think it does pretty good. One of the things I want to point out is that there's not like a handle that you squeeze here. This, this apparatus actually bends, and that's, that's how it sprays. So I, I think that's pretty neat, just a little different design for how the... Uh, uh, apparatus allows product to go through it, whereas the, the other one here actually has a trigger on it, the same as the next one I'm gonna show on the Lafferty. So let me switch over to it. So in comparison to the, the Lafferty blast fogger there that needed 11 to 13 CFMs, the five CFMs on this one works really good. And you'll see that the fog doesn't spray a long way, so it's for close quarters. Now let me do a demonstration here. See how that does? A really nice mist coming out of it as well. So you can see you probably want to have a couple of different setups for doing different projects where you're out, where you're in a big warehouse or in an office. I think this one works really good for office. Either one of those works good in a warehouse setting. The other thing that uh, is optional that is nice with the Lafferty is that you have these little metering tips that can go in the draw tube. So uh, it could probably be tweaked based on the CFMs that you're applying with it. The metering tips come with the compact fogger, but there's no metering tips that go with this one here. Though I do believe you could probably put some metering tips in if you wanted to. So that comes with this, so you could adjust it based on your CFM operation, so it would work really good. So to recap, MaxQuat will work with a mister, a fogger, or electrostatic sprayer. Works great with any of those products. And as you can see, we displayed here. So the, the two on the end are going to work good in a big warehouse setting or big areas where you're going to spray. And if you're in, inside, you want to use one of these, and you will need an air compressor to operate all three of these. So, that's it for this Washaholic Wednesday. I'm Mike Kinderlight with Dean of Power Wash at Power Wash University and PowerWash.com. I hope you have a safe and successful week. I'll see you next time.